Hi guys. Today we will analyze Stryker Corporation stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. The short-term trend is positive, while the long-term trend is still negative. It is advised to wait to see how this turns out. Strong support levels are around $194 and $188. Next strong support levels are around $178 and $157. Strong resistance levels are around $226 and $240. Next strong resistance levels are around $266 and $276. In the last month the stock has been trading between $189 and $221 range, which is wide. It is currently trading near the high of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 1.6 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, Valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio, and expected growth rate. First model Discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 9% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 14% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 107% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Stryker Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Stryker will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 6%. Future profit margin would be low, 12%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $102. Second scenario. Stryker will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 7%. Future profit margin would be average, 13%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $128. Third scenario. Stryker will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 14%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 100%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $157. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 5.44. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Stryker, analysts forecast growth rate around 8% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 22. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Stryker company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Stryker will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 6%. Future PE would be low. 20. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $78. Second scenario. 
Stryker will have average performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 7%. Future PE would be average, 22. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $93. Third scenario. Stryker will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future PE would be high, 24. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $111. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $219, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. While the company has a good profitability rating, there are some concerns on its financial health. Also, the stock is expected to show a small growth in revenue in the next 5 years, 6 to 8% yearly. Based on that, the stock looks overpriced at the moment. The company is a dividend aristocrat. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend when the stock drops below $160. Company strengths. Stryker is an American multinational medical technologies corporation. Its products include implants, used in joint replacement and trauma surgeries, surgical equipment and surgical navigation systems, neurosurgical, neurovascular and spinal devices, as well as other medical device products used in a variety of medical specialties. Stryker products are sold in over 100 countries. Stryker is a leader in the innovative medtech sector, that helps to advance healthcare solutions across a variety of ailments. The company continues to grow through both organic sales growth, and a number of acquisitions. Acquisitions continue to be part of Stryker's growth strategy. Its Mako robotic surgical system is a clear differentiator in orthopedic surgery, and as a means for Stryker to gain market share among surgeons. Stryker is a dividend aristocrat with 28 consecutive years of dividend growth. Shares currently yield 1.27%. The company's return on assets of 6%, return on equity of 13% and profit margin of 12% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Risks Stryker faces risks as its manufacturing operations are affected by supply chain issues, and sourcing for raw materials and components. Notably, the Mako Robotics platform incorporates software and semiconductors. Stryker operates in competitive areas of the global medical device industry. Rival Zimmer Biomet's progress with its Rosa robot, could put a crimp in Stryker's robust growth and knees on its Mako robot. The ability of the Mako robot to significantly improve long-term outcomes in total knee replacement remains in question. If clinical data cannot demonstrate superiority, Mako procedures could fall off quickly. Stryker faces pricing pressure from hospitals and integrated delivery networks, which combine the purchasing power of multiple hospitals and facilities. 25% of Stryker's sales are tied to hospital capex, and 40-50% to of sales are related to elective procedures, so, the stock is unlikely to outperform its peers in the near term. Prior to commercial release, Stryker's products must be approved by the FDA and relevant agencies in overseas markets. Stryker has a high debt level. The company also faces risks as it integrates acquired businesses. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a small growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 6 to 8 percent on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 8 to 10 percent on average over the next five years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.